Thank you. Um, I had one quick question uh, for Mr. Waters, I guess, since Mr. Gleason has left. And I just would like to hear your perspective a little bit on um, neighborhood schools. And if you could just keep it super brief. I know we've got a, of other people who are very important who've been waiting. Um, sure, and uh, thank you very much for having us again. Um, and I, could you clarify your question a little bit? So, what is Philadelphia School Partnership's perspective on neighborhood high schools in the city of Philadelphia? Well, I mean, you know, we've, uh, you know, our, our perspective from the very beginning has been, and our and our mission is to um, improve outcomes for for low income students in in, in the city through um, through the expansion of of good schools. And our view has been that it the, the school type is not is not uh, is, is not important really. Um, you know, we've made a number of investments in, in neighborhood schools, both at the elementary school and now at the high school level. Um, is Roxborough's 1.1 million the first time you've put money into a neighborhood high school? Um, a comprehensive neighborhood high school, not a, not a Carver or anything like that? Uh, we've done, um, first time into a neighborhood uh, district high school, yes. So, you know, I know that uh, you're not, you know, Mark, Mr. Gleason isn't here, but um, he has certainly testified before the school district, of, uh, before city council before. And, you know, in 2013, he certainly testified about the school closings, which closed down Bach High School, Germantown High School, Vox High School, and University City High School, all of which had CTE programs in them, and Bach was a fully CTE, uh, full CTE uh, type of school. And, you know, when he talked about them, he talked about our neighborhood high schools as problem schools. You cited a whole series of things running, ranging from climate and um, lack of uh, test scores and um, really were, were very, very vocal about the fact that we had to close these schools and that, in fact, neighborhood high schools were not on your high quality list of schools. Um, and I think Mr. Gleason has been very vocal about saying that you know, your philosophy is to quote unquote dump the losers. And that that's been a sticking point for a lot of us. Um, my issue that came up during his testimony was that you're making your very first ever investment in a neighborhood district school for Roxborough on CTE, combined with the statement that you are here to remind us about what the investment means. I would like to just remind you that all of us who've been working on these neighborhood high school issues, even when PSP um, did not have that understanding in 2013 and has been actually very vocal around uh, the lack of support around neighborhood high schools in particular, in my personal opinion, um, we've been active on this issue for a long time. I'm glad that, that PSP has figured out that it's important to invest in our neighborhood high schools, that CTE is an expansive, beautiful program that exposes young people to great opportunities, that there are children in our schools who are going to schools that they need to be in that have to be quality, even if you don't consider them to be high quality. We're trying to make them high quality, and we're trying to change the ways in which we define schools so it's not just through narrow measures of test scores and other types of things that you've whittled down to allow and promote the closure of public ed. But, you know, in particular, I think it's important that you understand that you're entering into a space where a whole lot of communities have been very, very active, including the panel that's going to follow you, a whole host of principals who've devoted their lives without a lot of support and, and attention to the needs of children in our neighborhood high schools. And it's really, really important that PSP in particular, because of your history around this, approaches this area with a level of humility and understanding for what we're trying to do and what your role is as a private funder and as a lobbyist. I mean, you're a registered lobbyist for the, both the state and the city of Philadelphia, so you are a lobbyist and it's different from being a foundation. We are invested in the means of education for the foundational needs of our young people from a wholly civic and government and societally minded perspective. Your perspective we recognize is very different and I think that, you know, it's fair, you have a role to play in here, but, you know, it is really important for you to understand that your history is known and I acknowledge your support of Roxborough. Many high schools deserve that. 
and it didn't take until 2016 for that to have to be recognized. But I am grateful, and I hope that PSP will actually realize how great the investment will be for those young people, and that you and your donors and your supporters and your board and the people and the folks that you lobby, you know, that you will help become a voice to understand that these neighborhood high school students deserve every single bit of investment and attention that every single other school that you've donated to um, also does as well. So that's all I wanted to say, Councilwoman.